Welcome back, guys. We got the back nine coverage here. Women's lead card, the Las Vegas Challenge, presented by Innova Champion Discs. I'm Lisa Fakus. I'm Madison Walker, and we are happy you guys are back to watch the rest of round two at the Innova course. This is the big bomber course, and we're having a lot of wind. We have Paige with a five-stroke lead right now, which doesn't sound exciting, but there's going to be a lot of moving around in the back nine. It's tough. It's tight. There's a lot of out-of-bounds, and really anything could happen. Looks like we have Sai, Ananda, and Evelina kind of moving up the leaderboard a little bit. Yeah, totally. Vanessa's also making a little bit of a push. Hokum and Jennifer Allen kind of struggling, but with those big arms, we know anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Jessica Wee snuck up there into second place already. After that eagle, hole 10, the longest hole in the course, I believe, 741 feet. It's a par four. There's OB sidewalk all the way down the right-hand side and one OB bunker. Um, on the way to the basket, probably coming into play only on the second shot. There's also an OB green that doesn't quite come into play. Um, we're going to see a lot of these ladies trying to throw straight or maybe Anheuser shots that finish out into the center. You really just don't want to play with that OB sidewalk on the right-hand side. Paige puts it out there in the middle. Yeah, I think I found this to be one of the hardest holes for me, at least, um, with this roaring wind on the on the drive what was it was it left to right cross i believe <sighs> yeah yeah, yeah it was a, so. it was a hard wind for um, throwing an anheuser that's for sure yeah it was and that's what you really want to throw here so it's like really tricky um you can kind of see it there <coughs> excuse me bless you <laughs> jen puts it up nose up way high and it's going to get carried by the wind but well, it still works out. Not yeah, too she far got left. out there. She's not flirting with the OB, but that's why this drive is so difficult. So you want it to Anheuser, but you don't want it to like flip over on you. Um, Kat does a good job. Super smooth. Going like that middle route there. Getting about 50 feet more distance. It's um, kind of how you have to play it too. Just a little longer to the left. Kind of work the wind there. Paige throwing towards that OB on the right, but it Heiser's back and she will be putting. Wow. Long putt? That's a super good distance there. Great shot. Very long. Okay. Uh, just past circle two, mm -hmm. but yeah. That mm -hmm. bunker, I would say, is about 250 feet from where Hokum is, so it's easy for these ladies to get past it, no problem. Um, I would mm -hmm. say it's a fairly straightforward second shot. You just want to make sure you don't end up on that sidewalk. Jen sizing this one up because she knows she can get there. Oh, oh, low release. That needs to get quick. Okay, right past that rake. It's a really nice flare skip and ends up yeah. really About circle okay. two, it looks like. Maybe mm -hmm. just pass again. Yeah, good shot. Katrina is looking for a similar shot there. A lot of stability on that disc. Keeps it nice and low, lets it finish out. There's a lot of kind of invisible elevation that you can't quite see on the camera view, but it's kind of a lumpy green. You have to go a little bit uphill, and then the basket mm -hmm. drops. It drops off behind the basket as well, back downhill. So you sort of want to th throw a touchy shot up under the basket, make sure there's no ground action. Yeah, it's tough to run at the chains here <whistles> since it's so fast on the backside. So these players are coming in lower, kind of at the base of the pin on purpose. <laughs> Jen doing the late follow through after the release. Yeah, kind of like a little <laughs> jumpy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the body language. Katrina, she's been knocking down putts, so she's going to take her time here. Park a putt. Oh. oh. <laughs> that left to right wind is so tough. Gosh, you can hear the wind ripping. Ooh, worked out. Got a little taste of the band, too. That's a tough <laughs> one. Yeah, for sure. That's nice four from Hoka. Super tester there. Katrina to save her par. Wow. No chains, but Snu in. Snuck it in the bucket. <laughs> part three. <laughs> Boom, bam. Jen looking to save her par right here. Hole 10, we did not have any birdies on the ladies' field. Yeah, not surprising. Not it's surprising. A true par four here. And over 65% of the field had a bogey or worse. 
Wow. That hole played tough on us today. Yeah, definitely. Moving into the back corner of holes, there's a little trio of holes right here that are a little bit more gettable. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is 369 feet downhill. There's OB past the basket on the sidewalk that wraps around to the right, and then that grass over to the left is OB as well. Um, it's kind of tricky. You'd think it would be a nice place to land, but no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to be on the grass. Yeah, you want to really flip one straight up the middle. Oh, dang. Paige is so good at that flip straight shot, but it gets a little early on her release. Luckily, you, she's still in the middle. Mm -hmm. You'd think being back with all these bushes and trees that it would be protected from the wind a little bit, but it was <laughs> really ripping back in this corner. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, there's OB right there just past that line. Looks like Hokum flips it over a little bit yeah. too much. Yeah, this is a tough, narrow um, green right here. Similar problem from Jen, but she'll still be safe. Um, that sidewalk is the only OB. Probably yeah. the smart play here is if, if you're trying to error is to error the turnover. Mm -hmm. Kind of a late turnover. Flip one straight up the middle shot. Katrina. Gives it a little bit more height, which is smart, but it does carry pretty wow, far right. so much glide on that disc. She's almost pinned deep there. Paige doesn't quite commit. Mm -hmm. Leaves it a little short little left but she'll have a long putt and we know Paige can make those nice follow through there even though Hokum seems to be kind of struggling to figure out the drivers in the wind um, she her upshots are have been solid all mm -hmm. day a little longer than she wants she's gonna be um Giving a tester there on her comeback. Oh, that looked in. Katrina looks to be in some a, tall grass. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't look like she even really <clears throat> had a look at the basket. She kind of lays up. Mm. Oh no. That was that was a really tough comeback putt. Now she's got a, another short one. Bangs it down. Surprise, there's no birdies on the lead card for, on this hole, but there was actually no birdies on the, in the ladies' field. Yeah. A um, of a surprising stat to Yeah, me. it is a little surprising, but with the wind again, just playing so difficult. But yeah, this hole's one of the gettable holes, so you would expect maybe a birdie or two here. You can see, though, even like uh, most of these lead card ladies, that you know, the ones at the top of the field are playing either conservatively or their aggressive shots are not working out. So it was, mm -hmm. I mean, it was definitely a rough day. Oh. <laughs> Get your focus face on, Katrina. Uh. There's golf cars <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Jeez. Zooming in your background there. Yeah. Hole 12, we got some OB on the left over there that you can't see. Um, and then right side over the cart path. Um, there's a little like uh, sand trap on the left that plays OB, but I don't really think that comes into play very much. But it, it's you'd have to act, you'd have to really put a hyzer up high and drift yeah. really far left. Um, it says 396, but don't you think it plays a little shorter? Mm -hmm. I do. Maybe closer Maybe. to like 375 or so. Yeah, it's kind of uphill, or it feels like it could be a little bit uphill. Um, wow, she gets all of that right there. Yeah, hugs that right side. She'll have a jump putt yeah a little, far. an open look yeah sweet she doesn't really jump putt does she I... yeah i don't think i've seen her jump putt much at all Paige with a good forward skip she'll be up on this hill which is nice because you're kind of looking down at the basket mm -hmm. gives you a little bit more control over your approach I'm taking the left side. Man, she really rips that. Yeah, she got a lot of just. Oh, wow. So she did find that sand trap I was talking about. Really? Yeah, it's kind of hidden. You don't really see it very much, but it's. You definitely can't see it from the um, T-pad. I never really notice it, but yeah, it's just one of those like, it, like hidden beyond those mounds. Mm -hmm. So it's really unlucky to find that. It's not, not a big one either. And Does Jen find the wow, green? Wow, that looks OB. Um, Jeez. Wow. That, Two things that I don't see yeah. come into play very much. Yeah, because yeah, most players take a little bit of straighter approach or even kind of down the right side of the fairway. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, unfortunately, those 
to Jen wait. got some pretty nasty skips as well to get all the way to that green. Cat and Paige play this hole really nicely out to the other side of the fairway, and they have easy pitch-ups. I can't really tell with Cat or Paige whether they're running at it or just laying up. Either way, I mean, it's smart to just lay up, but yeah. they're like soft for runs. that. Yeah, it looked like they were just kind of laying up there. Or, yeah, it, and it's tough with... Oh, wow. I could tell that was high immediately. Mm, yeah, that's tough. That is tough. Um, this green especially is real lumpy. Mm -hmm. So, ah, wow. Oh, no. So I got away from her a little bit. Those low-hanging um, branches right there. It's funny when the when the wind is blowing when you can feel it and and hear it it kind of no matter how close your putt is you're always a little nervous yeah for sure it makes even the easy ones you or you know how you risk overthinking or yeah or freezing up it feels like the basket's further away for some reason <laughs> i don't know that's what i said earlier it makes it makes a 10 footer feel like a 25 it does it, you second guess it a little bit hole 13 is uh an ace hole from last year but we did um move the tee pad back a little bit on this drive so slightly changed from last year as well it's really awkward you have to throw up sh almost straight uphill but then it flattens out to the basket so you have to like throw up but penetrate forward um there's ob on the right so if you flip your disc over there's a fence you don't want to go over katrina will be playing with it Ooh, but she skirts out no problem left right yeah. breaks right when you need to and she'll be around circle's edge that there's a bunker short yeah. Um, that's out of bounds mm -hmm. that most people can't reach on the ladies' field, but Katrina definitely just toyed with it. Yeah, this is a tough drive because you have to get high, but you don't want to get too high. But There's also out of bounds to the left that's new this year mm -hmm. um, to block from hole 14's fairway. Yeah. Um, that might come into play, yeah. Throwing it at too high Ooh. hyzer and getting it to drift left like that really far is the only time it comes into play, but Hokum looks like she's... That was a fun shot, a really understable yeah. disc, and she flip, um, does a nice um, flick there and lets it carry out. That is such a beautiful shot. That right putter? There. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the, such a fan of her putter approaches. They, yeah. It looks like she just flicks her wrist and they just glide. It's gorgeous, yep. Hoke I'm laying up for her par. Another good layup. Park a putt. Almost had it. Running for birdie. You won't see many ladies uh, having a birdie look That's on the That's true. Hole. Yeah. It's a bonus. Oh, dang it. Mm, she wanted that. Headwind ripping in her face there. That's tough. Oh, that's, you know that's not what Jen wants. She can tell she's getting frustrated. Three bogeys in a row is not like her. Mm -hmm. And with throwing good shots, too. Mm-hmm. The uh, Nate Sexton Firebird is overrated. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's such a great disc. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shout out to the fire, the Nate Sexton Firebird. It is such a staple in my bag right now. The 19 version is Ooh, awesome. It's hot. Yep. Hole 14, another, actually this is the longest hole in the course. They moved this tee pad back from last year and it makes it a pretty challenging tee shot, especially yeah. in this wind. There's OB on the right and left that's roped. So you won't be able to see it very well on the screen. You actually have to cross the path to to go in bounds, mm -hmm. so Katrina you, does that easily. You don't want it to hyzer out too much and skip. Oops, she, stop. Yep, skirt. She'll be okay. <laughs> skirt. <laughs> Working that right side is the play, or throwing an Annie like Paige does. Yeah, the wind is not friendly here. It's just wanting to kind of take your disc away. Oh no, that's ah, flirting. Why does that come back? I think that's that might that's, be out of I bounds. I think that's safe. We didn't get a red flag, but yeah, that's right there on the line. A little flip up there, but it's coming back. Nice to see Hokum safe and bounds. Yeah. She's up on the little mound behind a tree. There's some tiny trees down the left-hand side of the fairway that kind of come into play on both shots. Jen, unleashing. Oh. That just needs to be more understable. And she's okay. Safe and bound. That sits down, and it does. These ladies 
hugged the left side a lot more than the women on my card. Mm. Um, I don't really know what it looks like over there, <laughs> but it's fairly wide open, so they should be okay anywhere on the fairway. This is a par four for us, but it definitely is a tweener. Um, we'll see some fours on this lead card, but it is a tough four in the wind. Yeah, with the basket playing on that mound, it uh, it's real touchy. You de we definitely are not going to see many birdies, if any at all. Jim Stay safe. Some, yeah, nice little dig. Katrina looking like she's running for the birdie. Oh, no, she lays up also playing smart, smart golf. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't... There was no birdies in the women's field. Um, it's, it's probably one a, of the... Oh, a, yeah, this is playing as the most difficult hole. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that's one of the reasons that OB patch right there, that darker green nope it looks like uh sarah's gonna have to take it from the where she crossed in on the back side mm -hmm. of the green yeah this basket's also up on a mound um so the wind putting was really tough yeah i watched some three putts on this hole it's pretty uh pretty crucial drop off right behind the basket so yeah you have to be really careful Katrina, she's probably going to play a nice wide hyzer here. There Textbook, you go. very smooth. Nice and approach. low, too. No trouble of the wind taking it away. Jen going for it a little bit there. That's a good half go at it. Another hole with 65% of the ladies field above Solid. par. Solid. Really nice release. Really straight there on her, Make, her follow-through. Making that crosswind putt look easy. Yep. Such a tough little putt there. And Paige cashes it in really nicely. A little knee putt from under the tree. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah, she's got stuff in her face. And yeah, makes it work. Lots of hair. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone's happy to be off that hole. These lo this last little stretch of holes on the end of a course are really challenging. Yeah, they require you to really shape shots. I feel like every hole gets a little harder. No birdies yep. on that last hole in the, in the division, like you were saying. Um, so this this hole has OB right and left on the sidewalk. Uh, the basket's down in a little ditch, so it's really friendly for, for putting and approaches because it kind of filters you towards the basket. But the drive with the, the wind that we had was so tough. It was a right to left crosswind, and you're trying to throw an Annie or a big yeah. flick, and you don't want it to flare skip whenever it lands. I felt like I was like a little stumped on this box. Yeah, me too. I was too. like, what do I do here? I dissed down to a Thunderbird instead of trying to go distance uh, because it is, man. I mean, you don't want it to flip and you do not I want it to I had this idea hyzer. that, oh, let's try to throw a flick because, you know, <laughs> I'm playing against the wind a little bit and yeah. I just want to get it out there. And like you said, you don't want to turn it over um, and risk the OB and it just didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the wind was definitely knocking this down. Yeah. Paige and Katrina both take this, a similar line, throwing over that bush on the right, and kind of flirting with the OB on the right if it does flip over, but both with stable discs that finish nice and softly. There you go, Jen. It's, like it's that nice pull, a little flip up, but not too much. She always throws it up in the air. It's like she's not scared of the wind. She yeah. Just, she lets she, it go nose up, no problem. She's got a lot of trust in her disc, and she's got good control on her distance. Just outside circle two, that's impressive. 459 feet. I mean, she she was Jen was up there pin high. <laughs> yeah, it's ripping impressive. it. <laughs> Hokum looking to do what she does best. Little sidearm approach. These are fun. And oh, just oh, gets no. caught on that tree, and the basket's in that little bowl. Almost got the roll down. Katrina with the patent pending in the wind. It's a little nerve wracking, but she just keeps it low like she has been doing all day and slides it right up underneath yeah, the basket. Textbook. That was cool. Jen using the backboard. That's fine. Jen did a nice run. That would have been a very impressive birdie. Oh, what? Oh. oh, I thought that was in. I saw some mean stuff from these baskets this weekend. Nomez? 
<laughs> no. No mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should have stuck. Yeah, really, that was a weird one, how it fell out. Wonder if Paige is thinking about that at all. <laughs> Cash nope. is in. Snuck it in the bucket. <laughs> yes! A germ never should have told me that. <laughs> Jin looking to save her par. No Sweet. problem. Yeah, it feels good to get off this hole with a par. That's really what you want to do. You just want to maintain at the Ugh. end of this course. Everyone's tired. It's been Ugh, I know. super windy. Your face is windburn and your lips are dry yep. and your hands are cold. Yep. You, just, you just want to get through with par. And these are super tester holes. Mm -hmm. They're long. They're tough. There's a lot of wind in your face. Speaking of. <laughs> doesn't really let up. And Another long. really hard hole because you're starting OB super long OB all the way down the left side and the right side that big patch right there again OB similar to the last hole we got that little mound it's not as uh, extreme on the drop off though but it does gradually drop off on all sides around the basket you could get a roll back to the OB um, you got to be careful on that um, so this tee shot you want to go around to the left side of that first bush and then flex to the the right side of the second bush Katrina does it perfectly Looking for it to heise her out a little bit at the end. Yeah. And she's getting, you know, as much distance as you that can. That was on point right there with their execution. Oh, yeah. It looks like Paige might go wide heiser. Nope. She's going down the middle. Flip up. This tee shot was really tough with the right to left cross one, too, because if you showed the top side too much without stability, it would kind of knock your disc out of the air. Um, it, was it was tough to get distance. And mm -hmm. these ladies are making it look easy. It was not. Yeah. I wonder what Jen's throwing there. Probably a destroyer. She gets some nice skip action and gets way down past that tree, no problem. Sure, her set, her th second shot will be set up wide open. Hokum working the flick, which is a nice safe option. If she gets yeah. around that tree, she'll be lining herself up. Yep, yeah, puts her safe in the fairway. So this is a par four that the the women's field averaged at a five. So we're wow. averaging a stroke over par, 71% of the field over par. Jeez. Um, it, it did not play friendly. Yeah. End of the round. It's You can see that the OB tough. on the right, the water comes into play. But Paige hyzers it out. Mm -hmm. if she, even if she lands on the green, it would finish out safe. So that's a really smart play. Katrina going forward for the green. Wow, that's a huge rip. Wow. It's a skip and sweet. That nice safe was shot. a beauty. She'll be inside the circle. Wow, that was a great shot. Yeah. It's kind of fun because these big arm players know they can unleash here and you see that's what they're doing and Jen answers. Wow, trying to go for it and get rewarded for these big shots. Um, and they sure are. Okum uses the green, skips on up there. Man, making this look so easy. Yeah, I, I like to. I, I like that play a lot, skipping off the green, because you, you can kind of bank on it because it's so fast. Oh, Paige floats it up there nice and soft. Yeah. In. Yes. There we go. One of them Got stuck. Got one back. <laughs> yeah. Like, no chains on that putt. Nice par save from Hokum. Paige looking to save her Ooh. par as well. Oh, dang. That's a tough one. Pretty big bounce back, too. Yeah. There's the 10-footer that feels like She kind of got lucky, though, because, I mean, you can always rolled. get that roll away, yeah. And Katrina for birdie. Wow. Nice. Huge birdie putt. Uh, Katrina. Even set, and, um, both of them setting themselves up with a tailwind putt, too. It's perfect. I mean, you really can't place it any better. Yeah, no doubt. There we go again. Three birdies for the day. Katrina, we just saw two of them. The only one under par on the back nine. Paige Pierce was the other birdie on that hole. Hole 17, average 3.81. 457 feet. So that's 
definitely a, a difficult hole here. Oh, yeah. Um, OB on the left side where the cart path is, and we are teeing off um, from, I believe, like an OB area as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you but have to cross over a sidewalk. <laughs> um, we're kind of far back in this line of trees. You want to do exactly what Katrina did Ooh, with she, a little bit more of a stable yeah, disc. She kind of yanked that one a little yeah. bit, but it looks like it's safe. There's no out of bounds on that right side. So if you're okay. going to error, you want to crash into those trees. It's not fun over there, though. Mm. But you just really don't want to hyzer out. There's some uh, golf tee boxes in the middle of the uh, mm. fairway. And if you land on that hyzer, it will skip out of bounds 100%. So these ladies are crashing right just looking for to get on purpose here. yeah mm -hmm. a little tangled up in those trees but they're way down there oh, oh that that disc is pretty flippy and glidey so it gets a little bit gets a straight carried finish. away with that wind she's maybe hoping for a little bit of a flash skip hyzer finish but it carried straight if anything it seems like the wind picked up near the end of the round oh, we yeah. kind of we kind of thought it was gonna settle down but it never did Paige takes off a little bit of distance and doesn't, and just kind of puts it into the side of that hill, which is a smart play here. She's really good at landing her disc softly, um, which is a big thing on these golf course greens. Hokum with an effortless approach shot. She'll have a little bit of a tester uphill putt. Sweet shot there. Nice and soft on the landing. Is that Katrina with a forehand? Yeah. From the bushes. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Really nice for him. Jan with a little putter approach. Wow, yeah, she put herself way down the fairway, but she kind of, um, yeah. She gets over on it a little bit too much. She'll she'll leave herself a long she head monkey, when come Monkey pot it yeah, just a little bit. Definitely but. monkey pot. <laughs> Oh, oh wow super solid run what a tough putt and we've seen some mean bands today and that one was all over it cat good focus there and she stays under par in this back yeah line. she her and Paige are just one stroke apart now katrina charging Hokum's still kind of bouncing around over par. Oh. Definitely not happy with her round today. You can tell she would probably like to have a little bit more Oof. work with her disc in the wind. That one's stuck on the right side there. Yep. This is, I think, the fifth or sixth hole where over 60% of the field was averaging over par. Right. This course was so mean today. Yeah. And hole 18 is not... A fun oh man, hole 18. Speaking of hard, <laughs> there's this, water everywhere. This came in as the third most difficult hole today. Um, yeah, water everywhere. The tee shot, you kind <sighs> wow. of, you don't really want to max, like get max distance off the tee. You want to throw a hyzer, almost right. like a layup shot mm -hmm. at about 300 feet. It gets narrower and narrower the closer you get to the basket. Um, right yeah. side is right side is water left side is sidewalk you want it to land softly just like katrina does mm -hmm. here to set up for your second shot which is another very difficult shot. really tough shot on that second shot you're right but yeah biting off as much distance and being close to that water is kind of what these players are trying to do and maybe pop in like a hyzer just to play it safe Page sort keeps it low. It's got a little more action than you want, but it seems to slow down no problem before it gets to that OB yeah, sidewalk. Good play. This uh, this course left a lot of like sour feelings <laughs> today, and uh, I really hope. Uh, I can't wait for a second. Yeah, some it. redemption hopefully on this course. Um, Jennifer... Got to make the cut to play this one again. Yep. Jennifer, oh yeah, I forgot about the cut. Yeah, Jennifer finds the water there, unfortunately, goes a bit long again. Yeah, gets over the top of it again, overpowers She's it a little having, bit. Yeah, a little bit of that issue today. Hokum goes nice and easy, doesn't want to play or bite off too much distance. But she, Jen knows she can unleash one here, and she does. Works the Annie, kind of pushes it into the side of the yeah, hill. Yeah, nice skip bar right there off the mound. <laughs> <laughs> Paige. She can go big here too. This wind was a, we were having, Oof. we had a pretty screaming headwind on the Ooh, second shot. Dang, that stayed OB. 
you're trying to kind of lay a driver up between in this really narrow strip between water and an out of bounds sidewalk and with a headwind it was so tough it really was yeah. trying to figure out what disc is going to land softly and oh. she will be safe there so that red line is not for our uh not for disc golf so yeah she's totally safe it's just the water that plays ob katrina so. making it look easy taking the water out of play and putting it way on the right side safe mm-hmm yeah, pretty much textbook there. Paige looks like she was safe. I guess the sidewalk is in bounds oh, as really? well. Oh, really? Okay. Because typically it's been playing OB, but sometimes it plays in bounds too. Hook them with the fountain. Yeah. <laughs> pretty fountain shot. And this basket's in a little bowl as well, so it's really friendly for your approach shots. Um, you can see she doesn't get a lot of action. It just kind of hangs out right there inside the circle. Jen running at a little jump putt. Nice. Slides it up there. She Sweet. will not have to do any more putting in this yeah. round. <laughs> Jen's putting in a short game looks really good. Looks like she's been working on that over the off season. Get down. Oof. Got away from her that. See those flags just ripping back there. That high to low putt sinks it. Finishes with a par. That's good. Yeah. At least not on a sour note. Yeah, it was a tough round for Sarah, but um, it was a tough round for everyone, actually. No so. birdies on this hole. A three would be very impressive in this wind. Yeah. Um, feels good to get a par. Only 29% of the field parred this hole. So. Right. Katrina finishes off with a back nine under par. It's super impressive. Um, I believe her round goes on to be 1,000 rated. Wow, such yes. a solid back nine there. And so we finish with uh, Katrina taking the lead by a stick, starting out five strokes behind Paige. Wow. Um, Jennifer and Hokum had a little bit of trouble on the back nine. Well, a lot of trouble. We see Jessica Weiss climbing the scoreboard. Evelina Salonen, no surprise there. She's used to the cold and the wind. Vanessa also taking a, a little bit of a leap. Sayananda and moving up as well. Callie McMorrin. Uh, Callie, yeah. Yeah, she's a, a newer player on tour. Get ready to see some of her. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Madison Walker. I'm Lisa Fakis. Thank you to the PDGA and to Innova for the coverage. And thanks to Joe Best for getting out there early with us and uh, giving us some high quality coverage. Uh, see you guys for round three. <laughs>